Hello and welcome, welcome and welcome to day 16 of the 30 days consistency video challenge. So today we have a very very interesting topic gist story call it anything you want but Omo, it is very interesting we are talking about the woman in the bible a woman in the bible that shoots her shots hey <laughs> god <laughs> a woman that shoots her shots in the bible holy scripture word of god the woman was shooting her shots so if this is something you are planning to do, this is, uh, Valentine is coming soon. Valentine is on the way. <laughs> Valentine is coming. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> if you are planning to shoot your shots anytime soon, come close, come close, sit in the front, sit in the front. You need to learn from the boss herself. Mama Naomi, she's giving lessons, dishing out lessons, dishing out lessons. Come and learn from the best. Stay tuned to the end. Let's so after the harvest, though, when the harvest was over, Naomi was just looking at Ruth, her daughter-in-law. I was like, we need to get you a man. <laughs> you need security. Yes. How can I leave you, my daughter, like this? No, now. When me, I'm here. Prepare. You are going to Boaz. That uncle, you are going to him. Take your bath. Wear clean clothes. Rub all you, all you yourself. Use all the perfume you, that you have. Okay, prepare. He's going to be threshing barley this evening. I know, I know where he will be. So you prepare. But when you get there, you hide. Mm? Don't allow him to know you are there. Hide. Allow him to eat, drink, relax, and go to sleep. And when he's lying down, he has covered himself to sleep. Uncover a little bit of his leg. Chuck yourself small inside and lie down there. He'll tell you what to do. Hey, uh -huh. let me continue. So, hmm. Ruth now said, Okay, I'm going to do everything you said. She prepared, got ready, oiled herself, you know, dressed her hair. Was looking like a baby girl, you know. So she got there. She hid herself, did everything exactly the way her mother-in-law told her. So after Boaz had eaten and drinking and was now relaxed, he lay down to sleep. Okay, so she she now sneaks in as far Mama had told her to do now. Ah, uh -uh. in the middle of the night, this man. Uh, <laughs> in the middle of the matter about that, this in the, in, the, in, the, in the middle of the night, this man woke up and saw a woman by her side she was like who are you who be this <laughs> ruth now said it's me oh she now said it's me it's me your maid servant my lord please can you cover me you are a kinsman redeemer a close kinsman redeemer but please, and please that's why i'm here and i really love you to cover me okay so please all these things i'm saying eh? <laughs> What it means is this, you know, yesterday I mentioned Kingsman Redeemer. In Israel, there's something they do. There are men that are um, kept chosen, all right? What they do basically is to cover other men who are dead. Okay, so a man dies, for instance, and he doesn't have any children. So a Kingsman Redeemer takes over his wife to help raise children in his name okay so, so that is what boaz um is like that is that's who he is so that's that you know a king's marriage man he doesn't just marry the widow he takes care of her takes care of the person's property if he had any protects her provides for her does all those things okay so and i believe that's the reason also part of the reason why boaz was kind of nice to ruth because he knows that somehow she was already his responsibility it's owing to the fact that her husband is late and her husband is his kinsman do you understand now okay yeah so um 
Ruth now you know after the offer Boaz was like wow this is beautiful I mean because there are other kinsmen in their lineage he wasn't just the one so he felt really honored to, the, to be the person that Ruth was asking for because she was beautiful okay she didn't go for the younger ones Boaz wasn't a, a young um, kinsman redeemer he wasn't young so Boaz said okay I'm going to do everything you've asked me to do okay I'll do everything because um, I mean everybody in this town know you as a virtuous woman a virtuous woman but then um, I know I'm a close kinsman but there are closer kinsmen there are people you know it's like in line before him so he, he didn't want to like you know take over ahead of them he said he was going to speak to them and if nobody was interested in Ruth then he would go ahead and um, cover her and become like the husband okay so he just told her to stay here till morning so that you can leave before anybody sees that you even came in here at all so in the morning when she was leaving he gave her um, ifas of um, barley and sent her back so when she got to Mama Naomi was like, oh girl, just me, how did it go? So told her everything that had happened, showed her the ifa of Bali that Boaz gave her to bring back home to her mother-in-law. Because Boaz said, I can't send you home empty-handed to go and see your mother. Like, it's not right. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> so, um, all right, um, Naomi was not like, don't worry. She's not going to rest. You can't have peace after this whole thing now. Nah, until this particular issue has been sorted out. Alright? Don't worry. So that's that for our story today. I know some of you already have your pen and paper. Writing down lessons from the mother hen herself. Okay, but then, of course, as usual, I will still share lessons I gleaned from Naomi, Ruth, Boaz and everything. Okay? So, what's there to learn? First of all, Ruth hmm, had the best interests of her daughter-in-law at heart and was seeking for security for her. Okay? That's one lesson for me. I'm, I'm sure you know what I mean. Okay? You people should be used to how I'm sharing, how I share my lessons by now. Alright? So, and um, she knew where Boaz was positioning she knew exactly where Boaz was going to be that night and then she sent to Ruth okay and she told Ruth dress up oil up perfume up kids you know look attractive to a man before you go okay that's another lesson there that's another lesson there okay yeah and then again she said don't let yourself to be known to him until he has properly eaten and rested in the night two things i got from there one hmm, privacy when you want to shoot your shots remember yourself care for yourself i don't know if this is what mama naomi had in mind though when she said it but me i'm giving you clue now hmm? what if the boy turns you down or the man turns you down uncle? Mm -hmm. so be careful okay do it in privacy yes and it has to be someone who respects your privacy as well remember Boaz still protected and hid her until she sneaked out when nobody knew she even came there secondly allow the man to eat and relax don't go when he's stressed don't go when you know that everywhere is hot allow him to eat drink be calm and relax and have ears open to hear you out so let's look at Ruth okay now Ruth did everything Naomi asked her to do she went close and laid there and then the man noticed a woman was lying close okay you can't be inside your house and be expecting somebody to notice you I'm not saying you throw yourself on a man okay I'm saying Enter his circle, okay? Let him even notice you, woman. Of course, first of all, you've dressed up fine. You've oiled up like this. <laughs> you've oiled up, okay? You have your, your perfume on. You are decent, okay? And then let him see you. Let him observe a feminine future 
around. Make it easy for him to assess you and approach you. Okay? Mm -hmm. That is from Ruth. Good. Now, Boaz, make sure the man you want to shoot your shot to is as kind as our Boaz. He's a man that everybody can tell over the years. He's a man of character and a kind-hearted man. Mm -hmm. And he's someone who already likes you somehow to an extent. Okay, please don't do risky something so that your heart, you know. <laughs> yes, and he's a kind man, he's a generous man. Okay, each time Ruth goes to Boaz, she never leaves empty handed, ever. She never leaves empty, even when after she shot her, she, she shoots, she shoots her shots. He still did not allow her to leave empty handed. Okay, and he said something. Everybody here knows you're a virtuous woman. So I'm going to go head over heels, do whatever it takes to get you. After I've asked for other people's consent, which means he's also a respectable man. And Ruth was a virtuous woman. So lessons learned for today. Okay. Pay attention to yourself physically. Pay attention to your character. People should be able to attest to the fact that you're a virtuous woman. If you're not good enough, your character, people are still complaining about your attitude. Please, forget about shooting your shot. Shoot your shot at yourself. Work on yourself. <laughs> Work on your character. Okay, become known for kindness. Become known for virtuousness. Alright, and then if you're intending to shoot your shot and you meet the qualities, I wish you all the best of luck. I hope it works out for you just like it is working out for you. Tomorrow we'll know what's up with Ruth and Boaz. This is going to be an, a, a very interesting love story. It's a very interesting love story. And I'm going to tell you the relationship between Boaz and Jesus tomorrow. I'm going to do that. Okay, so, and I wish you all a woman like Naomi. I pray we all get a woman like that now. Yeah, so, and I'll see you again tomorrow. I'm so sorry that I'm losing that, um, I'm losing daylight. Um, the thing is, I have been struggling with a low battery on and off, okay? So, but I finally got, I was really excited to do this video and I finally got to finish it, like, <laughs> I'm so happy I did and I really hope, um, it blesses you as much as it has blessed me and I wish you all the best in your pursuit for love. Bye and see you tomorrow.